Hi, this is Colton from WhiplashPC.com. Today we have the ASUS Sabertooth X58-1366 board. Uh, this is made for the Intel i7 and the i5 series of the 1366 socket. Uh, it supports up to a 6-core, 32 nanometer processor. It has a 5-year warranty directly from ASUS. Very solid motherboard. We used it before in the past. We never had any issues with this one. It's pretty self-explanatory and it always they have great support at ASUS. So if you have any issues, you can always call them up. They're dead on with their support. Never had any issues with them. HDD LED light there once it focuses in on us. And we have a power ground, a reset ground. And on the side we have the speakers and all that and the power LED. It has an ASUS Tough Inside sticker. It says ASUS Force, Ultimate Force. It has the Q Shield. Completely padded on the back. Had the motherboard manual here along with the driver disc and a little case badge that says ASUS goes through and shows you how to install the CPU and everything like that. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Have SATA connectors, four of them all together. This would be the Sly bridge that it comes with. So if you're going to go Sly, you're good to go. Five-year warranty notice. This shows everything that was tested on this board before it shipped out to ensure that it was in working order and everything was properly functioning on this board. And now we get to the actual board itself. It's a pretty awesome looking board. Um, obviously the X58 is getting a little outdated, but still very fast compared to what's out there in the market for the most part. We have the USB 2.0s on this one, and we also have USB 3.0s, a gigabit port, the uh, 7.1 sound on it. I think it's Realtek audio on this one. We'll have to look at that in a second. This one also supports Sly and Crossfire has the standard old mouse port, USB 2.0, USB 2.0, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them, and 3.0, so 6 USB 2.0, 2 USB 3.0, have the optical sound port, Firewire, eSATA, and that's that. On to the actual board itself, the heat sinks are pretty well built, They're very solid. We have up to 6 RAM slots because this is triple channel. If you're running dual channel memory, it will work, but it's not going to be fast. If you want to have this thing actually working properly, you're going to want to get triple channel memory. So it's going to be three sticks. So it's going to be 246, or you can go 4812 for the most part. Otherwise, you can get one gig sticks, but uh, I wouldn't recommend doing that because you're going to be outdated pretty soon. you got the 4-pin up here. It's also an 8-pin if you take that little adapter off. I'm trying to hold it still as much as possible. We have one PCI Express 2.0 another PCI Express 2.0, and another one. So that's three of them all together. I believe it goes X16, X16, and X8, or maybe that's an X4. Um, doesn't really tell you on here, but let's see, it doesn't say. But definitely two X16s here, and I believe that's an X8 or an X4 at the lowest. We have a PCI Express X1 and another PCI Express X1 and a standard PCI slot right here. Uh, channel fan 1, 2, 3, CPU fan, and there's another channel fan over here. So you're good on that. Uh, down here is where you're going to plug everything in. I'm trying to hold it still as much as possible. You can kind of get a general view of the motherboard. As I said before, this is the ASUS Sabertooth X58 motherboard. Very well at overclocking. Very solid for the most part. Haven't had any issues with any of these boards. Um, six RAM slots. DDR3 1333 is standard. Anything else is overclocked, but it works well. So you can overclock your memory. If it's 1600 or 2033, anything like that, should be good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to write on the comment below, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible. This is the ASUS Sabertooth X58. Thanks for stopping by Whiplash PC TV on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and check out our channel. Thank you.